Hey, what's up, guys? This is your another video, and today I'm going to be testing the OTG or the Samsung Galaxy M52 5G, as well as taking a look at its SIM tray and how to insert the SIM in it. Right? So, the first thing I want to do is um, look at the SIM tray of this phone. So, it's on the right, it's on the left hand side of the device right here. So, just put your SIM tool now in the small hole just right above the SIM tray. And uh, press it in far enough, and yeah, the SIM card will be popped out. SIM card tray will be popped out right here. And you can take a look at this. So it's also a hybrid SIM tray. I don't know if it will be able to focus in. Let me see, okay, yeah, there we are. It's focusing. So it's a hybrid SIM tray. You can either have two SIM cards or one SD card. Yeah, so let me put that aside and put the front to the side there. And, uh, illustrate how you can use the sim card so the first sim card sim card one goes to the first place right here as you can see that's how you place it in and then the second sim will be placed straight here where the sd card can go that's why it's called hybrid because you can either have one sim card right here or two sim cards put one here and another just right here where the sd card would have been you can also place the sim there just like that that's how the sim tray or the f52 5g works yeah this place you can also put the an sd card but i don't have one in my position at the moment yeah but i'll show you guys that as well but uh yeah you can essentially put one sim card and an sd card or two sim cards yeah that's about the sim tray on the m52 5g right here okay so the next thing i want to test out is um it's otg Abilities. Right, so I'll start off with the flash, which I believe should work, no problem. OTG on the M52 5G right here. So we just need uh, this adapter, which you can connect the flash to any other device for that matter, as you're going to see with the HDD right there. Just connect that here, uh, should have no problem. As you can see, it's connected and added. No problem you can access it without any issues all right so let's unmount that and remove it and then test out good old hdd right there okay so for the hdd i'll need this cable right here so i just connect to this adapter and then to the hard drive itself now see if it can connect it I think it can't. You can feel the hard, hard drive strength is that spinning, but it actually can. So I think for this to work, you'll need a, yeah, a powered hub for it to be able to spin up this spin up this HDD. But otherwise, yeah, you can connect our simple drives onto this, but you can't really connect full fledged HDD. But you know what's surprising is uh, something like the Galaxy A13 can connect it. <laughs> That's just surprising how Samsung does certain things but yeah it is what it is so yeah that that's it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out